What's going on everybody? We're here at AGN putting the K20A3 turbo setup back on the dyno. See what it does with a little bit more boost. Last time we were here, it was at 11 pounds of boost and it made 283. This is a factory internal K20A3. There's no cam, there's no rods, no nothing special. It just has a max peating rod GT3582 turbo, log manifold and K power intake manifold, stock injectors decapped running 60 psi on fuel pressure um, so yeah we're gonna see what it makes if it goes over 300 i'm gonna back the boost off a little bit uh, because these engines do not like uh, making more than 300 safely so with that being said i'm gonna let him get his everything situated and uh i'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and then we'll go for some pools so if you're new here definitely click that subscribe button and uh, turn that bell icon on to get notified of every upload so Hope you enjoy the video. But uh, yeah, you guys definitely need some work done, some tuning work on the dyno, and you're located in Central Texas, definitely hit him up. He does some really good work, has tons of projects he's been working on, and some really nice cars. But uh, yeah, last night, Michael got on the tune and adjusted some things for the boost by gear, but it wasn't working out, so we are on an electronic boost controller now. It's a Mac valve, it's a three port. You can see right there, I switched out the manual boost controller for that one um, to try to do the boost by gear thing. And it wasn't working out, but the boost does come in a lot harder and more consistent. So it's right, right around 14 PSI um, right now how we have it set up. So it should be, should be actually right at 14 PSI when we open the electronic dump. On the first pull, we're going to do it exactly how it is, how I street drive it and everything. Exhaust closed to where it's running, you know, the sleeper mode, has the intake filter, all of that. And then on the next pool, we're going to take the air filter off and the electronic dump pipe open. And we'll see what it makes that way so we can get some good numbers. So hope you guys enjoy. This is with the uh, daily mode, so it made 288 with the daily mode. I'm gonna open the electronic dump pipe and take the air filter off, and we'll see what the number changes to. For the simple fact that it made 288, um, that's really good for the daily mode. It wasn't making that before. That was 287 was with the uh, Electronic dump open and the air filter off so should definitely make a power gain over 288 So I'm gonna go ahead and See if he has can you hand me the thing in the cup holder? It's the electronic button There's Eric guys if you guys are wondering <laughs> Definitely hit him up So I have the electronic dump thing. I'm gonna Probably get under there here in a second it's opened up. So now that that's open, I'm gonna go ahead and take the air filter off real quick. I'm gonna have my wife hold the camera real quick. She was actually able to come with me this time since the kids are in school. So it's kind of nice being able to have a helper. The reason I'm doing this is so we can have that velocity stack on the intake. See it like that. Should have just removed the filter and called it a day, but you know, it'll be all complicated, like.
one file seven says 301. Eric is gonna pull up the torque so you can see the torque rating, how much it's pushing out for torque, but that looks pretty good. It comes in a little low and then goes up pretty high. So yeah, it could be smoothed out just a hair on top, but otherwise it looks really good. The first pull was 288, the 223 torque. And then run file seven is 301. Torque dipped off by two foot pounds, but we gained more power, so definite improvement. You didn't do anything to the tune just now, right? So that was that was literally just opening the dump pipe and removing the air filter, and you can see the difference it made. That's crazy. assuming that's probably because of heat soak but uh still really good right under 300 on that next pool the last one yeah that's what i said it's probably heat soak because the fan's not like right up against it yeah it's really impressive for this k-swap mazda for anyone new here that's what the kazda means k-swap mazda <laughs> This would be a much higher number at this boost level. But for the fact that it's an Econo cam with VTEC only on the intake side, the exhaust side is just a tiny little lobe. Um, that is really impressive, 303. And that's exactly where I want it. I don't want it much higher. I know they can handle 400, but it doesn't handle it for very long. So this will be a longer lasting horsepower, if that makes sense. And since it is a work truck, I do use it for work truck i do take it to the junkyard i definitely want it to last uh, did 303 is pretty good yeah i got just one more thing and then okay if they like it they leave it back they leave it right there it's pretty good right now yeah eric really knows his stuff with these uh the vtec and the vtc stuff like that's the the secret to it i think is the vtc adjustments but um yeah he's really good with it him and michael work really good together uh they're being a really good team and good sportsmanship towards each other and to me for this build. So I just wanted to say thanks again, Eric, for, for being so awesome. So if you were wondering why I'm bouncing back between them, I mean, I like to support both of them and they both really come in and save me right whenever I need it. So I greatly appreciate it. definitely a lot 13 pounds, 13 pounds? Yeah. okay that is that's beautiful yeah, 315 and 243 nice you see the last pool was blue um, with the blue that was the last pool we just did prior to this one 
um, the boost was actually dropped off, so he went into the electronic boost controller and turned the duty cycle up, which brought it back to 13 pounds. We were at 14 PSI, but we backed it off a little bit, and uh, now it's at 315 horsepower, so 13 pounds of boost consistent, and it's making pretty good power, but awesome. That's basically it for the dyno runs on this thing. Now we're going to go over Eric's uh, EG and do a little walk around of that after we pull this off the dyno. Okay, well, pretty happy with the results of how it turned out. Actually, I'm blown away at how good it is. We're going to go over and take a look at Eric's car. You can see his setup. And you can see his engine leans a little bit forward. It's because of the Hasport mount design that he went with. To scoop the air into the uh, ITBs because it has individual throttle bodies under here. So really, really nice setup. And as you can see, this car is definitely set up. It is really nice. I believe it has Lexan windows. And... Uh, yeah, I'm, this is a really awesome car for sure. Do a walk around. Where are you running? What kind of fuel? Yeah, like methanol. I use the methanol nitro mix. Awesome. Yeah, they had. They were. They were curious. <laughs> Definitely a really sick setup. But this is Eric right here. So whenever you come to AGN, yeah, whether just throwing your car up on the dyno, you're getting a tune or some work done, just look for him. But yeah, it's a really sweet setup. But yeah, we're gonna head back to the house. I'll probably do a little pull just to uh, see the difference with it on the horsepower level it's at. I do not have the air filter on. I want to actually see exactly how it is right now. Then we'll throw the air filter on. I don't recommend driving without an air filter, especially for long distances. If anything, get a turbo guard. It has a little filter screen in it um, and it still acts like a free flow with no filter. So definitely some awesome work from Eric and uh, Michael. You guys are awesome. Greatly appreciate you guys. But we're gonna head for a drive and head home. Okay, now that we're back at the house, I went ahead and took the valve cover off for any skeptics wondering if this is truly a completely stock internal setup. Um, obviously, I can't dig deep down into the rods and pistons and stuff, but you can see that it is a factory cam on both the intake side and exhaust. We only have one lobe on the exhaust side, two lobes on intake side, and if this were a K20A2, I'd have three lobes on intake and three lobes on exhaust side um, but this is literally just an econo engine and the fact that it's making 315 horsepower is super impressive and if we had some k20a2 or k24a2 tsx uh, cams and locked the vtec on them this thing would make the same power but on a lower boost level um, so that's pretty impressive that this is doing as good as it is um, obviously, I'm not going to open up the inside of the engine to show you that it's factory internals. I just got this from the junkyard and threw it in. I have done nothing internally. I put some new spark plugs, a colder spark plug in here, the BKR 9EIX11s, I believe is what they are, um, and gapped them at 0 0.38 or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's completely stock K20A3 making 315 horsepower on the way home I did have the air filter off and this thing pulled really hard and I absolutely loved it my wife loves it and I can't wait to take this out to the track and in, in the future when I get some more traction and set up all that stuff uh, but as it is for a work truck this thing is super impressive and it gets better with each and every passing day I'm super grateful for each and every one of you who have watched the videos and supported I know my support has dropped my views are dropping I don't know what I'm doing wrong but 
Uh, I appreciate the ones who have stuck around. I do this for you guys. So if you guys could please just share the videos, it helps me so much and I greatly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. I did just want to show you all of that under the hood and give you some decent pool videos while doing some dyno video as well. Now there is a video coming out soon on this Max Peating Rods generator. Um, they sent me this to do a review on. It is EPA certified and it has all the specs down there. It's rated for 2300 watts peak. Um, so yeah, last winter here in Texas, as most of you know, we definitely needed a generator. Power went out for a lot of people. We were thankful that the power did not go out for us here in Central Texas, but it's probably because we're so close to the military base. Um, but this is a definite must for the winter, and we can use this to go to like the drag strips and stuff like that. So huge shout out to Max Peating Rods for sending this over for me to do a review on. And uh, I'll, be, I'll leave an honest review. If that means it's not that good, I will tell you it's not that good. But so far they have pleased me with all of their products that they have sent. They've all been really good, and I'm not just saying that. Um, I don't want to lie to anybody about anything. So it's a one gallon capacity fuel tank. 79 cc engine rated frequency at 60 hertz 120 volts so you can just plug it in any outlet um, you can have any outlet plugged into it my bad uh, so we'll test a microwave and some other things on this and see how long that gallon of gas lasts uh, with just an idle and then with a load on it and so on so but yeah with that being said i am grateful that you guys came by please hit that like button and drop a comment below and if you're new here please consider subscribing I'm going to go ahead and get off here. i got to get this video edited and out for you guys, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.